Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video of West Pokemon. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the best deck I think that is playable in the standard format right now. And that deck is Mew and Mewtwo. This deck is just amazing. It has so many pivots. It can put your opponent in a terrible spot. And you can just hit hard with this deck. If that's your playstyle, watch the video. So let's get right into the deck list. One Crobat because... Crobat is can be a very dead card if you have more than six cards in your hand. I don't really see a need for two because I mean, that's two dead cards in your hand, very possibly. Um, so one's the perfect amount of number because if you have less than six cards in your hand, this is just a perfect card. Um, but even if you have like seven, eight cards in your hand, you can still discard that with quick balls, giant hearths, um, benching stuff, stuff like that, but definitely one Crobat is the way to go. One Zigzagoon, because placing can damage counters on something can help a lot. It may not seem like a lot, but to hit numbers perfectly is kind of really hard, especially with the card we mainly use it for, which is Magneto. Um really helps the deck hit not 170 180 with Naganadal which is a big number I'll get right into that in a second uh, but yeah definitely one zigzagoon we'll talk about that in a second and in Cineroar we only play one of these um, I don't know why you would play two but anyway it's a first attack crushing punch definitely not the main attack 130, discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Not bad if they're a special energy based deck, but still, mainly you want to be using Darkest Tornado GX. And plus, this attack does 50 more damage for each damage counter on it, which is broken. If you have a bunch of damage counters on you, this card can do over a thousand damage. Definitely one of the best cards for this deck. And it's only three energy, a well learned attachment for turn. Crazy. Alright, Naganato, 170. We're killing today, Volcanion, Mewtwo, Jirachi. But what are we not killing? Crobat. How much HP does Crobat have? 80. So, then we use Zigzagoon. 170 plus 10 is 180, of course, you know. That will quick mass, you know. Humble. Also smart. Don't worry, I know what I'm talking about. Um, so, then, yeah, we one-shot Crobats, which is a big thing against Eternatus and stuff like that. Orange Shroom and Charizard. Now, Double Blaze isn't that good anymore because we have other GXs that we can use that are just as good for less energy because six energy is two-thirds of your fire energy. So, yeah, maybe back away from using that. Outrage isn't as good um, as it used to be because there's bigger numbers now but still can do a bunch of damage if you just need a little no hit um outrage is the way to go because it's just a welder away um flare strike 230 for four energy this is a not necessarily a good number but you can two shot anything with something like flamethrower something like high heat blast any of that that's two-shotting almost everything in the format, if not everything. So, yeah. Rushy's art has always been good. It's been good for so long. Now, the engine, one of the engines of the deck, is Volcanion with its Flare Starter attack. Search deck for a Fire Energy card, attach it to one of your Pokemon. Now, if you go second and it's your first turn, instead, search deck for three Fire Energy and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. You don't have to put it all on that Mew Mew or Reshizard or Charizard or the other Volcanion. You can spread them all around your board if you want. Um, So that is broken. You want to go second with this deck for sure. And then High Heat Blast, 50. If you have four energy on your board, which you already have two, just two more energy, you're doing 110 damage, which really helps out with that 230 plus 110 is... 340, which is one-shotting everything in the format, guys. That is really good. 
Anyway, let's get right into Charizard. Flamethrower isn't the best, but like I said, it goes good with Flare Strike, since obviously you can't use Flare Strike twice in a row. If you could, that would just be insane. So, then you can just use Flamethrower. But the main point of this card is it has Flare Blush GX. So, for full energy, it does 300 damage. Now, if your opponent's playing really smart, and doesn't put a lot of damage on your Mew and Mewtwo, then Incineroar essentially does nothing. So that's when Charizard comes into play, which just does 300 damage to him. Next, yeah, two to the nine. This is way better than a Crobat in my opinion. Three is a little overboard because sometimes it's gonna feel like it's dead card in your hand. I never wanna have that feeling when I'm playing Pokemon where I just have that dead card in my hand that I can't use to win the game, you know? Um, but two to the nine is where they go. Gengar and Mimikyu. A lot of people will side away from playing this card now, but I still think it is very effective. Four House GX. Your opponent can't play cards from their hand next turn. If this Pokemon has at least one extra Psychic Energy, just one extra energy attached to it, your opponent draws seven cards. Now, since they can't play any cards and they're going to draw for turn, they'll have eight cards in the hand. Probably, I don't know, five... Seven of them are going to be trainers. So you're doing like 300 damage. 250 to 300 damage for two energy. That is insane, guys. This is why Gengar and Miniku is still good. One Drachi for the Mew match. One Mewtwo to get back to your supporters. Three Mew Mew. Four just feels a little overboard sometimes. Sometimes you have a Mew Mew and you have a full binge. Don't want to put that six prizes on the board you want to force them to seven even eight prize games sometimes um but next we got a muck for severe poison you poison them it does eight damage counters between turn and you have to use it with the horror energy so you pass they take 80 and then they hit you your horror energy comes to an effect they take two damage counters 20 so now they have 100 on them and then when they pass their turn, they take another 80. That is doing 180, guys. Which means you can just come in with a little Volcanion, which is a one prizer, and knock them out. Broken. Broken. That's all I can say. Four Cherish Ball to get out your GXs. Four Poke Gear 3.0 to get out your supporters, which you only run eight of. But you definitely need to find your welders. It's the engine of the deck. You need to find them. Four Quick Ball to discard stuff and find stuff. One Reset Stamp to disrupt your opponent. Four Switch to, you know, get out of your active. Now, this is the card that I really think is needed in the deck for especially the ADP Zacian matchup that on paper sounds like a absolute terrible matchup. But this card, I think, makes it so much better. It is almost needed to be played. They hit 260. They need 10 more. To knock out your Mew Mew. So they attach a Vitality Beyond. And if they're being lazy and they don't know you run the Tool Scrapper, you just, that goes away. And they probably only run one if they run two. Well, you probably lost the game by then. <laughs> then, also, they have Metal Goggles since Metal Frying Pan has rotated from the standard format. Um, So they still have no weakness which means that your volcanians cannot one shot their uh zashians so you definitely need to be able to one shot their zashians with a volcanian so that the price trade stays the same or else they're going to take advantage of sniping out your denies and all that so you definitely need to try to keep the price trade the same by attacking with volcanians against the adp's matchup um now, four giant hearths to discard, hopefully one of your GXs or Pokemon that needs to go in the discard pile so that Mew Mew can use it and get two Fire Energy, which is just really good. Um, for those, since Fiery Flint is now out of the standard format, um, two bosses order, which will bring up anything on the bench, is just pretty standard. Two Magnolia, pretty much every deck runs Magnolia now, and discard hand, draw seven cards. Four Welder, um, attach two Fire Energy, draw three cards. Definitely need four Welder. This is the engine of the deck, guys. Four Horn Energy for our Psychic Pokemon 
attacks like the Muck Muck, Gengar, and Mimikyu, and our Naganadal. Um, and it does two damage counters when they hit you. And then nine fire energy. But yeah, guys, this is the deck. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I definitely recommend using this if you're participating in the Players Cup like I am. Um, and yeah, I definitely think this is the deck to go with because it is very consistent. Um, definitely recommend building it and stuff like that. The gameplay of this deck is going to be on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash West Pokemon. So definitely check that out. I'll have the link to my Twitch in the description of this video. I'm live every Friday, Saturday, and other tournament days. Um, so... I'll keep you updated if I have a tournament upcoming, which actually I do on Saturday. I'm going to be participating in the Alter Creation Poke X tournament, which is a $1,000 prize pool no matter how many people play. And I am registered. I don't know about you guys. It's only $10 from PayPal. PayPal is really easy to set up. Definitely think you guys should register. Uh, it's going to be really exciting. Hopefully I see one of you guys in that tournament. See you next time.